USA is the dream country for everybody, you know? It's a great call. We were in a refugee camp. Um, the life is pretty tough, I should say. They will, they will feed you, they will, they will give some f food, but it won't be enough. So you have to go to work outside. And when you don't have no citizenship, you ain't get no pay, you know what I mean? It's the same pay as Nepali people do, and you don't have no choice. I still like it though, because that's, that's where my childhood was. You know, um, I, sm I miss my friends. The refugee population have been coming to the United States for years, and to Austin as well. There are people from many different countries who are, uh, who are coming for humanitarian reasons. That is, they have to leave their countries because they are persecuted. And they're persecuted on the basis of either their religion or their ethnic uh, background or their politics or social standing. They're the working poor. They're making um, $8 an hour, $7 an hour. The, the, the big hurdle for them is the language and the culture barrier. Uh, they don't know what they're entitled to, uh, entitled to. They don't know what rights they have. They don't know, for example, about the health care, uh, new health care law. They have no clue what it is and if it applies to them or not. Yeah, he's coming. Yeah, hello, brother. I was, I was in Bhutan until um, 1992, but uh, I was kicked out from country Bhutan because of my faith. The government asked me two questions deny Jesus or to leave the country. So I said, I will not deny. And I left all my properties, my half of my families in Bhutan. And I have not seen them for almost 25 years. Yeah, majority of the uh, refugee families that we help them every Thursday. We just gather here um, and then help them filling up over my care and it is it's really a challenge very complicated the hardest thing is language and they do not know what is like a website and they do not know what is uh, you know over my care and nobody even explain them do you have the green card How old are you? yeah there's two members we didn't have no health incidents back in nepal so it was kind of new for us to have one here so the hard part of it is to know about it, you know what I mean, to, to know the details. But I need insurance, but I tried three times, but not success. Still, I'm trying. It's really overwhelming and it's really a challenge because uh, our friends and community, do, they do not know what is this. And I don't know about federal government, what is their plan to reach out to the community, but if they can educate us, inform us, explain us about this, this will be a great help these people are falling through the cracks and it's not right because we bring them here for humanitarian reasons we, we bring them here because they need to escape violence and and they need a chance to survive and to do better and then we pull the rug out from under them and they don't know uh, they don't understand what the details are but they come here and they face so many other obstacles that they don't understand and they don't know how to how, how to solve it's a